I've been waiting to do this video for so long. So if you're watching, thank you. This video is partially being made out of anger at bad tutorial videos that waste so much time and never really get anything done or never make it simple for everybody to understand. So what I'm going to do is share with you how to make pictures look vintage quickly in, in really any app. I know what you may be saying. You're like, I already have an app I like. I don't have storage. I don't want to download an app. If you already have an app, you can use that and you can probably get by. If you're trying to like achieve this specific effect, you probably won't be able to do it with just your phone and Instagram alone. But if you are going to take that extra step, be a good person and download an app, I would recommend getting Lightroom Mobile. Adobe makes great products and they've basically brought the desktop version to your phone in a simplified version. Okay, so I'm going to open up Lightroom. I'm going to go to my photos and we're going to open up an already vintage looking photo. Part of this whole process is actually taking the picture in the first place. And I know I don't have a tutorial for that yet, but I will later. Um, don't, don't just like take a picture of the sky and then put this filter on it and, and not look vintage and then you're coming to me like, hey, Kason, you told me this was going to look vintage. Why is this not look vintage? Okay. Yes, it helps, but a lot of it is actually taking the picture and finding the locations to do this. Okay, so here's the first picture I'm going to pull up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with just like the basic adjustments. All right, so go to the light panel, or if you have your other app, you can find that panel also. Um, I'm just going to turn up the exposure a little bit. I'm going to turn up the contrast to make you know the difference in the highlights and the shadows pop. Highlights, I'm going to turn down because that sky in the back left is a little blown out. Whenever you're taking pictures, you should always expose for the actual subject, and you can always bring down the highlights later because it's better to do that than to expose for the background and then try to bring up the shadows. Shadows, I'm going to turn down a little bit. Okay, so here to the first thing that makes photos look vintage. <clears throat> Go to the curve. Um, you should have one on whatever app you're using. If you have a mat, you can go on the Photos app and you can have one there. Okay, so just add a point down there on the bottom left. So the left side controls the shadows and the right side controls the highlights. The far right is the whites and the far left is the blacks. So um, add a point down there to the shadows and then we're going to turn up the blacks to add a fade. Um, you can change that depending on the picture. Number two. Um, go to the color or wherever your temperature or color adjustment is on your app and we're going to turn up the temperature to about 20. Okay, looks good? Good. I'm going to turn down the saturation just a little bit and I'm going to turn up the vibrance. Okay, moving on to the last thing. Not not that, but that looks, that looks good too. The, you don't have to do this. Um, this is just a common theme I've been seeing. Go to the grain and turn it up not don't turn it up all the way here like that um, unless you like that I would say turn it up to about 50 yeah 50 looks good and there you go you have a pretty vintage looking picture alright there's the before after before after alright let me show you with one more picture just so you can get a differing perspective. Okay, head back to your camera roll. Locate your picture. There I am. We're going to do this a little quicker this time. First thing, go to your light adjustment. I'm going to turn up the exposure a little bit, turn up the contrast a little bit. <clears throat> Lower the highlights. Raise the shadows. Go to my curve. Add a button in the bottom left. I'm going to add a fade to the blacks. Alright, next step, I'm going to go to my color. Um, I'm going to turn the temperature to about 20. I'm going to turn up the vibrance a little bit, lower the saturation just a little bit. Alright, next thing I'm going to go to effects. Or um, your app may have a separate thing that just says like grain. Uh, but just go find that. Alright, um, once again, I'm going to turn up the grain to about 75. 
Uh, the size, I'm going to keep it about the same. Basically, the grain just adds a little bit of texture to the picture. And there you go. There's the before, after, before, after. I think it looks pretty cool. You can watch tutorials all you want and get someone's take on something, but until you actually understand how everything works, um, I mean, you, you won't be able to develop your own style. For a phone, being able to edit a picture like that, that's pretty impressive. And shout out to Lightroom for that because it's pretty good. Alright guys, that was my first tutorial on this channel. Look, I could honestly care less if I get one view or a thousand views. As long as one person has used what I gave them to make something cool and original, then that's great. That's, that's why I'm talking to the camera right now. I like learning things and then sharing them with you. All right, if you haven't already and you enjoyed this type of content, hit the subscribe button below. Make it turn gray. Make the little check mark come up. Thank you. Just hit the like button and let me know so I know if I should keep doing this or not. Also, if you use this, uh, just link your Instagram account in the comments or put a link to the picture and I'll be glad to go look at it. All right, I'm done ranting. I'm just gonna go. Um, like I said, Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.